Good morning, Valley Christian. I'm Trent Vanderwall, and this is VCTV. Good morning, Valley Christian. I'm Marion Ledesma, and here are your morning announcements. Today, there will be a college campus visit by Arizona Christian in the quad at lunch. If you're interested in signing up for the Costa Rica trip that takes place in November, there will be a meeting today at lunch in room B16. Reminder, you are not allowed to eat in the Verhoeven College and Career Center unless you have a meeting at lunch. Thank you. There has been a change in the dodgeball schedule. Instead of Brett Garcia's team playing today, it will be Aaron Warren's team at lunch. Wow, that is some serious skill right there. If you're interested in coming out to the talent show, it's tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Admission is free, so be sure to bring your friends. Also taking place in the Legacy Chapel in two weeks will be the pre-AP administration meeting. If you are in an AP class and plan to take the AP test in May, be sure to go to this meeting on Wednesday, April 5 at 2.20 p.m. Also, be sure to bring a number two pencil so you can fill in those bubbles. Tennis, you leave at 1.15 and golf, you leave at 1.50. And those are your morning announcements. Now, here's an interview with the robotics coach about the upcoming robotics competition in Long Beach. I'm here with the head coach of the robotics team, Mr. Brandon, and we're going to talk about robotics. So what does the typical robotics competition look like? Oh, it's really exciting. There's um, like 40 or 50 teams uh, from different schools, and they bring like anywhere from 10 students to like 50 students in each school. How long has the team been working on this year's robot? Oh, my goodness. So we started in January 7th, I think, is when the, they, they call it the game reveal. And the students and the mentors work night and day, like usually about almost six days a week. And um, we build the robot in six weeks, and then we bag it. And if you, in a minute, you can see it. It's over there. It's in a bag, and we're not allowed to work on it after that. What's this year's game, and what does the robot do? Okay, this year it's really fun. Um, they shoot these little yellow balls, and they shoot from any, anywhere on your side. And then the robot also has to take these things that look like gears, these yellow round things, and, and they have to stick it on a, a post. And then on the last part of the game, the robot has to actually climb, has oh. to climb itself off the ground and lift itself about four feet into the air. Can you tell us a little bit about the competition coming up this Saturday? Basically, uh, teams, there's like 5,000 teams in, oh. the, in, the, in the world that compete in this. Uh -huh. The competition is very, very, um, very sophisticated. Where is it going to be and are students invited to come? Oh, absolutely. It's free. The only thing that's not free is the parking. But it's going to be at the uh, Cal State Long Beach this year. Mm -hmm. And you know where the, they have a pyramid there? Yeah. Yeah, and it's in the pyramid. And there's a schedule about when we compete. We'll, we'll have about six or seven matches that day. Any additional comments that you have? Well, I just want to encourage anybody that likes robots to, or, or anything to do with uh, mathematics and, and, uh, and science and engineering, to come and join us. There's plenty to do, if, even if you're not interested in engineering, but you're interested in, in art or business, uh, we could certainly use your help, so yeah. Great, all right. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Brandon. Oh, and it's my pleasure. So I am here with Mr. Pettis for another episode of Topics with Pettis. So today we are going to discuss these cars from the Cerritos Auto Square that are parked in our high school. So um, they've been here for a few months now, but I think some of the students are still curious to know um, why the cars are parked there. So. Uh, the Pinsky group, who we kind of have a relationship with because we did the land swap with them as they took the end of the middle school lot and we got the land across the street, um, had asked to rent 50 spaces for, it was one month at first for the possibility of three months was the last I heard. So they could be here longer, but we should be nearing the end of that deal, but I can find out more. The auto square itself has a struggle with places they to store inventory, as you guys may notice in the building behind C, where they store a lot of Volkswagens. Um, everybody's looking for parking, so. All right, and um, it's a busy parking lot that we have, and there's 
um, you know, young student drivers, what would happen if a student accidentally hit one of their cars? That any accident in the parking lot would be handled like an accident on the street. It would go to your insurance if it's your fault. And because these are like super nice cars and they're staying there day and night, is there any added security in this parking lot? Yes, the um, the owners of the Jaguar dealership, the Penske Group, they have sent their security spending more time between the dealership and here. Okay, and is that affecting anything to do with Valley at all or not really? No, I mean there's always a benefit to having more people around in the parking lot. As you, if you pay attention, there are people that kind of come and go often mm -hmm. and there's so more people is always a positive thing for us. So there are a lot of athletic okay. events and other things that happen at Valley. Um, does all do all of these cars affect parking and like how parents can get around over here? Uh, I don't. We haven't had a problem yet. We did do it obviously after the football season. I don't think it would have worked at that point in time. They do know that if we have an event where we need the lot, that they would have to go for that particular event. But I don't, I, as far as I know, we haven't run into that problem yet. So, all right. Thank you, Mr. Pettis. All right. Thanks for watching this episode of ECTV. On behalf of the entire crew, I'm Mr. Baker. Have a great day, and go Bruins! <laughs> Why'd you wait? Thanks for watching this episode of ECTV. On behalf of the entire crew, what am I supposed to say?